humble yourself. I mean, again, they say it take a village to raise a child. We know that DCF, we know that all that, what the people says, but these are our kids that we have to raise and they represent us. You ain't just up now, one time. You ain't just up, I just do how I love to do. You got to be yourself, you got to be yourself. Hello everybody, I am Tanya. Um, everybody called me Jap. The woman behind Jap is a young woman who is 32 years old, who came from a background where um, she struggled, you know, throughout life. Um, she come from a small family. I was born and raised in Overtown. Um, I know what it's like to get the butter from the duck. What has always been my dream since I have been little has been serving people, making people happy, making people laugh. And I always wanted to cook. I always wanted to be able to bring people together because one thing about family and, and, and laughter, um, food comes along with that. So my dream has always to be to serve people, to, to let people know that they are appreciated in life and just a little thing just by what you can cook up for someone can actually touch people hard. You know they say the way to any woman or man heart is through their belly which is food. Again food brings family you know people have separated and things like that so food brings us together we can gather we can laugh we can reminisce and that's pretty much my dream is pretty much just to just be able to serve people and just make people happy and that's actually through food. The biggest influence would have to be God. Why? Because as we read the word and we hear the stories of um, how he created all things, how he gave his only begotten son for our life, the sacrifice that his son went through, that's my biggest influence letting me know that I can do all things no matter what may come my way, what, what obstacles may come my way, I can overcome that. Um, that is my biggest influence because he is my only resource. So besides my kids, it, it, it would have to be God himself that would be my biggest influence and still right now, he is. I always love to please people, cooking, cooking for people, serving people, and at my job, what I'm at right now, I we had a potluck and I made this dish, and it was so like it just everybody it was pleasing to everybody taste bud, and they kept asking me, hey, can you make this this dish? Can you make this? And we always have this potluck and these different type of events, and we come together bring dishes. And so I make this dish and it's like, it's banging. I'm not the one to boast, but I can stand behind what I do. Um, especially if I'm going to pre be presenting it to someone. Um, and they just was going crazy about this crab salad. So seafood is expensive, we all know that. So I told the girl, she, I was like, listen, I don't know if I can be able to make it for the potluck, but I can bring devil in. She was like, listen, I will pay you for it. And I was like, you will pay me for it? And I started off just with that little cup by selling. And once people seen it, it came out. And I just started selling just at my job. And Alorca has over 500 people in that building. But Greater Taste itself, it came from um, this year. I've been trying to think of all type of names to come up with this company to be able to uh, catch people attention. That's something that can stick in their mind. Um, and not only to provide them with a Greater Taste. Um, so I go to church, New Year's, everybody have their little resolution, so we're fasting. So I'm, I'm talking with my business partner, I'm like, hey listen, let's write down everything that we want to go ahead and ask God for. I'm going to prayer about it, which is I want to be able to expand my business. I have a lot of advice to give to myself right now, the older me. But what I would say is that Treat 
people how you want to be treated. Be good to people that are good to you. Your name means everything. You want to be able to, when people see you, you want them to be able to speak good things about you. And I know that we don't care what people say about us, and I know that people start rumors, but somewhere, sometimes in that rumor, it kind of be a little bit of truth. But if you're true to yourself, then therefore, that says everything. That says a lot about your character. So again, I would say that to the black community, that to the parents, to not even parents, because you don't have to be, you know, a, a person that gave birth to be a parent or a guardian over someone. But let's start saying something and stop turning the other cheek and let's stop pulling out our phones and really doing something. It starts from home. Be love. Everybody need love. It doesn't matter where it's from. Everybody need, needs to be loved, and that's appreciated. That's a, that's that's what people go through right now. That they have histories of past. Everybody have a past childhood past, and people really do need to be loved to just know that I love you. Like it's it's a reason that you here. I mean, without love. Can you imagine if God didn't love you? Like, who wants that? So, I would like to just bring love and just happiness and just to the world. Love the world, people. Weight is what broke down the wagon. Time waits for nobody. Keep waiting around, talking about what you going to do you're going to be talking about what you should have done and the weight itself just remove dead weight therefore you can be able to remove so that's my favorite quote is weight was what broke down a wagon what I would say to a struggling entrepreneur is that it's going to get better and it's going to get greater you got you got to just push through you got to you got to have that fight in you i mean you got to be a warrior you got to fight for something nothing in life is easy if that's your dream and that's your goal then i'm going to fight by mine so i just say push through you got to push through push through think about great greater what comes to mind, what comes to my mind is above the normal, the average. I mean, who don't want greater, a greater taste, your mouth favorite place. I mean, great things has been happening since 2017. I'm trying to do great things in my life. I'm trying to break change, be in Black History Month from the start approaching. Um, again, like I say, I come from a background where, honestly, like we 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 struggle. Like we been, I'm being real. Like we ate mayonnaise sandwiches. That that was it. So I want to be able to be greater, do greater things for not only the community, my families, and my friends and my siblings, but I want to be able to leave something behind. I want to be able to break the change from my family tree that we didn't have that we didn't have when we was growing up so I just want to do great things greatness greatness is what I'm speaking for th for 2017 not only in my life but everybody's life greatness because I want everybody to be great not only just myself I'm not selfish or anything like that so greater taste your mouth favorite place I also want to say Great things are happening, especially right now, that I have the opportunity to be able to sit down and be on the set with Paris D. Vision. I just thank her for this opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful that I feel like great things is gonna get ready to happen. Currently, um, Greater Taste is um, down south. Um, we're going to be making some moves going mobile. We will be coming to a city, a state, 
a town near you we also do delivery you can um, hit me up on Facebook at greater taste you can also email me about any event I do catering at greater taste at yahoo.com my contact number is 786-920-1576 you can also contact my business partner um, the number is 786-920-1580 and I specialize in kunk salad right here. I came and brought some for um, Paris D and her staff so they can go ahead and taste some of this famous fresh full sign. <laughs> Greatness is what we're striving for. If you want a greater taste for your mouth favorite place, hit up greater taste.